Ukraine and the ongoing fight to find a cure. There's also a very important fundraising event that's going to be happening on June 21st. So joining us now to tell us all about it is Courtney Pendleton with the Mission Fed Credit Union and Don Barry with the Alzheimer's Association. Thanks to both of you for stopping by on a Sunday. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us. Okay, yeah. so Don, let's start with why June is so important or why it is important to dedicate an entire month to really raising the awareness about Alzheimer's and research. Yes, absolutely. So June is Brain and Alzheimer's Awareness Month. We use the whole month to keep that global conversation about Alzheimer's alive. As you probably know, this is a very widespread disease in San Diego alone. We have 60,000 people living with Alzheimer's and over 160,000 giving care to those individuals. So we want to start that conversation and really get the stigma away, um, identify people sooner, and, and help in all stages along the way. And identifying people sooner, that takes the money and the funds and the time that we can spend to dedicate. And it means that fundraising events are really important as well. Absolutely. And you do have one on June 21st, and I kind of love the name because it seems like you're uh, obviously the summer solstice, but yes. it's called The Longest Day. So tell us uh, tell us about it, Courtney, and, and just as a sponsor for the event, sure. what's going on and, and why was it important to get involved? Yeah, well, I mean, thank you for that because Mission Fed, I mean, we really pulled, how we even started working with the Alzheimer's Association was pulling our own employees, saying, okay, Mission Fed supports so much in the community but what aren't we supporting? And Alzheimer's was by and large the, lo the, the biggest one that people mentioned. And I think through just working with um, the Alzheimer's Association and that team, we have, and just com coming up with this campaign and being able to support, we've uncovered so many of our own colleagues and, and mm -hmm. members and board members who have been affected by this or going through it right now and just wanted to help. And so I love your tea up for the longest day as well, because that was something that we really loved at Mission Fed. Um, bring, you know, using the, the day with the most light to bring that darkness of Alzheimer's to wow. light, right? And the messaging is just so important. We did find out, too, that Alzheimer's is the most expensive disease in America and the most, most feared. feared. And, you know, it can destroy finances, futures, families, if, it, if you don't know more about it. And that's why yeah. it's so great to work with the Alzheimer's Association on just all the things that they can do to educate us more about it. Because, again, get that awareness of getting in front of it for somebody who may, you know, down the line, may not be experiencing it now, but one day might. I mean, even that could make such yes. a difference. So tell us, the longest day, is it um, kind of break down what we're going to yeah. be doing or what you're calling on the community yeah, to do? as Courtney said, it is the day with the longest light, the summer solstice, to, to bring light to this, this dark disease. We use it to um, do build your own fundraisers. So we've got groups doing um, biking, hiking, baking, bridge, all kinds of fun things. So people bring their creativity to bear. They open up a fundraiser on the website, uh, ALS.org, The Longest Day. Um, there's a place to make a website, invite your colleagues, your family, your friends, fundraise, and then kick off a wonderful event. And they're happening all across America and especially in San Diego. Now, I'm curious, does San Diego have a specific goal? Is there a call to action maybe that you want to get out to our viewers just to encourage them yes. to do whatever they can? There are wonderful <laughs> events going on. So, for example, um, this Tuesday, there's a Tijuana Estuary rock at um, in San Marcos there's a reading a staged reading at Luminary Arts of the smell of a kill and then on Saturday you've got Pound Fitness getting together at San Pasqual Elementary School and lastly BJ's Brew House uh, for as little as a one dollar donation of free pizuki and those are just some of the events you can visit the website at owls.org the longest day uh, slash the longest day and see all kinds of events you can join or start your own and when a pizuki is involved how could you say no <laughs> So Courtney, different. anything and else you can add? Can, even wearing purple. Purple is yes. the color of Alzheimer's mm -hmm. awareness. Um, and so we're at Mission Fed. A lot of our branches are going purple um, on Tuesday and just continuing to help bring awareness and help raise funds for this important cause. Well, yes. on behalf of somebody who lost their grandfather to Alzheimer's, we appreciate everything that you're doing. And, of course, we know that our viewers, this is something that they do. They meet the moment. They step up yes. in a time like this. And so what a fantastic way Thank to bring you. everyone together. And like you said, everyone's strength together in, in whatever it is that you can do to fundraise. Yes. Thanks to both of you for stopping Thank by you so much, the studio. Al. We appreciate it.